All right, Kara, thank you. And in national news this evening, the first major test for candidates seeking the 2024 Republican nomination for president is unfolding now in Iowa. We head to Washington, D.C., where our correspondents Rachel Knapp and Brendan Scanlon are both standing by. Rachel and Brendan, certainly not as cold in D.C. as it is in Iowa right now, but what are you hearing as things start to heat up in Iowa this evening? Hey there, Renata. Good evening. Well, things definitely heating up figuratively in Iowa uh, this evening as uh, Republican caucus goers are making their way uh, through these frigid conditions, frigid temperatures, a lot of snow and really cold uh, winds uh, over in Iowa to head out and choose their preferred candidate, their 2024 Republican candidate. And by this evening, we could see the first results of this extremely highly anticipated uh, 2024 race, Rachel. Oh, that's that's right. So we're speaking with everyone on this from experts, analysts, uh, lawmakers either, and uh, as well as other members of the press here in Washington, D.C. about Iowa. They all think that former President Donald Trump is going to do really well there. Um, but of course, just like Brennan mentioned, there's going to be a lot of factors into going into uh, tonight's caucuses. You know, will conditions impact the ability for caucus goers to get where they need to go? And, you know, which candidates will it hurt or will it help? You know, even though the former president and Nikki Haley are both pulling pretty well, it's really going to come down to uh, how much, uh, you know, supporters, how much uh, determined they are to go vote for their uh, candidate. Even though Donald Trump has a significant lead, the people that say that they're very likely or extremely likely to vote for him is very, very high. It's in the high 80s. It's not so high for Nikki Haley. So even though Nikki Haley is polling very high, I think she has the most to lose here because the enthusiasm level for her is at about 39% of the people say that they are likely or very likely to vote for her. Again, former President Donald Trump is the favorite to really prevail in Iowa, but there are just a couple of important factors about tonight. You know, the first, if he does not get 50% of the majority of the Republican support, it really goes to show that he does not have uh, the majority of support from Republicans uh, to earn that nomination, at least there in Iowa. And the second big thing that a lot of experts are watching very closely is the fact that we know Ron DeSantis went all in um, on Iowa. And if he doesn't have a really strong second place finish, it could pose some really difficult questions uh, and concerns for he and his campaign as we go uh, through the next couple of weeks about their future uh, here in this race. But for now, reporting live on Capitol Hill, I'm Brendan Scanlon. This is Rachel Knapp. Renata, we'll send it back to you.